Well, welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Merrill, I'll tell you what, we're coming. Yes. We are at the uh, Wilderness Campground, by the way. Wilderness Campground, Montella, Wisconsin. And we're going to come back for Blackbeard Shipwreck Pirates Weekend. Oh, I like that. The Hawaiian Weekend. Yep, yep. Labor Day Weekend, of course, they have the Horseshoe Tournament every year. And the Ladder Golf Tournament every year. And the... Quinker Boy Band. Tinker Boy Band. Tinker oh, Boy. Okay, <laughs> I like Quaker. That's and a volleyball Quaker tournament boys. and a beanbag tournament. So, so Labor Day weekend is a great time. They have a spectacular holiday weekend during the holiday season in October. But Wilderness Campground, what a great place to come. It's near Montella, Wisconsin. One of the best campgrounds we've visited so far this summer. And we've got some great grilling to be had here. So stay tuned for more of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. See, then we're coming back for this one and this one. Oh, I want to do that one. Or right we there. could do that. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills. All Things Jerky, Cherry Delight, Brew Pub Pizza, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Lashbro Aerial Images, Sun Drop Soda, The Oneida Nation, and the New Oneida Market. And by Glorious Malone's Fine Sausage. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling, oh. Wilderness Campground, wildernesscampground.com. Uh, you got to visit there and see all the great activities, a lot of great activities throughout the whole summer. It's a great camp. You and I were here. Yes, we were. Had a great time. A couple now, weeks ago. Which other event are you thinking about coming to? Uh, well, it doesn't matter when you come to Wilderness Campground, there's always something there to do. There is something there's going There's miniature on. golf, there's pedal carts, there's Yay. hiking and biking. You can actually, can you play a little row, row, row your boat? You can get some, rent a rowboat or a canoe and you go out in the gorgeous lake or just watch the kids bounce inside yes. on the lake on those great bouncers. Uh, always a great <laughs> That's time. That's what here. I want to do. Just sit there and watch the kids bounce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to overexert myself. You yeah, know? I know what kids wants you're going to watch. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple ways you can get a good smoky flavor, whether you're using gas, charcoal, or your own charcoal grill or your wood cooker. Of course, you could use our great little green eggs like we use. Yes. I got some little hot dogs cooking on there for this segment here. You can use the green eggs, adds a nice smoky flavor. You can use wood chips, or you can go all out and do cedar planking. Now in this little bucket right here, I've got some water, sloshing the water, I've got a brick. Don't worry, Freddie, it's not to throw at you today. <laughs> Boy, I hope not. I'm man. behind Merrill, all right. But, yeah, the, brick, but okay. the brick was put on, this, on these little cedar planks, untreated cedar planks, uh, a day ago. So, so yesterday, during the mid-morning, these have been soaking for quite a few hours, so they're good and wet. But I'm gonna leave those in the moisture until I'm ready for them. And here's what we're gonna, here's our final destination today. All right. So oh, I have wow. three great cedar plank items. The first one we're doing is on the far left over here. We're using Wisconsin potatoes on top. I've got a sauerkraut mixture and some browned up hot dogs underneath all that. And that's a meal in itself. And you can do that on any gas grill, any grill at home and get the great flavor of the great outdoors, like the beautiful cedar trees here at Wilderness Campground. Oh, I could smell that when you open that, that up. That is, yeah. That's an amazing that thing, awesome. isn't it? I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Don't uh, cry. All good Midwest <laughs> meals start out with sauerkraut. So I'm gonna plop a good pound of sauerkraut inside of there. Now with the sauerkraut, I do wanna sweeten that up a little bit. Yep. So I added some brown sugar and I'm gonna add about a quarter cup, about a half a cup of brown sugar inside that pound of sauerkraut or so. Now here's the cat's meow. This right. stuff is great. Dough works. Mad Dog and Merrill's Dough works. It's good <laughs> just on hot dogs, bratwurst, hamburgers, ring bologna, kibasa, things you've already cooked as a condiment, but it works inside meat products and other things too. So what we're going to do is give the gold bottle a shake, and I'm going to actually take, this is sauerkraut, onions, horseradish, mustard with a tomato base, and I'm going to put about a, a, the half the bottle inside there. So we're gonna plop that baby Whoa. in there. The kraut and the onions got a little bit of gravity to them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're talking gravity. Yeah, right? we're talking gravity. So there we go right there. So we're gonna add that inside of there. Now I'm gonna place a couple of little mittens on I it. was wondering, I didn't yeah, see yeah, those yeah, there yeah, if yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah, use yeah. your hands or not. No, we're all good, we're all good. So we're gonna actually do this. This is a, a great way to do it. Now remember the cedar planks are cooking away. I'm gonna fire up my grill on a medium high heat as I'm doing this to preheat it. A medium high direct method of cooking. And I'm just gonna simply mix up that sauerkraut very nice. Mm. Now here's what we're going to do. I took some Wisconsin potatoes. Right. I took some Wisconsin potatoes, nice whole bakers, and I put them in the microwave till they're three quarters done. They're cooled down, and we've done potato wedges before on the grill, but very seldom do we get a chance to do them on cedar planking. 
So I'll actually take those in quarters. Our good friends at Country Ovens, countryovens.com, Cherry Delight, I use their vinaigrette, and I soak those wedges in a little bit of their marinade, a little bit of their vinaigrette. So I've got the sauerkraut already, I've got the sack of potatoes here marinated for about a couple of hours or so. I've got the cedar planks over here. Now I can actually take and plop one of the cedar planks out of there wet. Whoops, excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> Slippery little devil. Yeah, it certainly it is. Really is. We're going to add some of the mixture over the top of that. In fact, we're adding the uh, all the mixture over the top of that. On my green egg, my little mini green egg, I browned up some nice little hot dogs, and we're going to place those hot dogs on top of there. I did this half backwards, but we're going to add some more sauerkraut on hey, top. Hey, that's of it. us half backwards. Exactly that's it. Right. Which half, though? <laughs> <laughs> the front half. <laughs> so we're going to add some more kraut over the top of that. So kraut in the top, kraut in the bottom. Saving room for our Wisconsin potato wedges. I'm going to place that right across there, plop that off. And it's a process to do. But we're going to take the potato wedges, and I'm simply going to lay those I'm on I'm top right. of the sauerkraut. So I want those to brown up nicely. Now, the grill's on a fired up heat, medium high direct method. We're going to char the bottom of the board. That's the key here. But it's been soaked in water, so it's not going to burn. So here's what we're going to do. Now we're going to place that board on top of the hot heat. And I put this on top, and you see the edges are charred already. And I'm going to leave all these on the grill until we're done, take them all off together. Okay, good. So I've got the top over there. Now, while Merrill's doing his little segment, I'm going to take the top off my number one barbecue sauce. Won an award, by the way. Number one barbecue sauce. Won a great gold medal in a national competition for barbecue sauce competition. So you got to use our number one barbecue sauce. It's a gold medal winner. You got and I'm going to drizzle sir. that over the top of the potatoes, by the way. That's the whole key. Good job. So take her away, good big job. guy. I'm going to spread it. I'm just doing eggplant. <laughs> you know, a lot of people ridicule eggplant, but it's really good grilled. There's so many different ways that you could do it. Um, actually, today, we're just going to go ahead and slice ours into rings. And all we're going to do is we're going to brush a little bit of sunflower oil on on both sides. <laughs> good now, wait, catch. Did you see that catch? I'm quick, man. <laughs> At my fast. age, I'm pretty quick. But I'm going to brush some sunflower oil on that, high in vitamin E, brush on both sides. And then what you want to do now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and grill this direct without any breadcrumbs or anything else, which tastes really good. Put a little Parmesan cheese on there if you'd like. But what I'm going to do today, which is a little bit different, is I'm just going to go ahead and do some breadcrumbs with some white flour from Oneida. You can explore Oneida.com and see all the great events and maybe even take a tour of the great little happenings around the Oneida Nation. Well, this corn flour, I'll tell you, people have never used the corn flour. You'd, you'd be surprised. You, uh, you've got to stop and get some. That it's stuff. Just, you do some Sicilian steaks. Oh, yeah. You did just, I, I think, last week. Yeah. I it just love it. The flavor you did. is you, just. You actually you breaded Freddy. those. I you was there. Yeah, that was yeah. awesome. It was delicious. And it it was pork steak. It's what it was. The you know that. Thing. <laughs> got to mix it all up together. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning in there. And then obviously we need some garlic and we need some pepper. What better way than grilling magic? Put that in there, mix it all up. And what brand was that? Grilling magic, sir. <laughs> Low in sodium, 55 milligrams sodium per serving. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Coat these on each side. I'm going to place these on the grill direct. I'm done even trying, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> these will not take long. Maybe two or three minutes on each side, and they're done. So We've been grilling 38 years together. I'm just trying to even. I'm just done doing it. <laughs> All right, we're yeah, gonna, so you're going to grill those on the grill. I'm going to grill those. That, what a great place what to What a great idea. Hand over to Merrill's show. Midwest Grilling. Take it away from Wilderness Campground. WildernessCampground.com. It's a great destination for you and the kids. Hocus Pocus Grillorama. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you grilling magic. Grilling magic, a perfect blend of garlic and pepper and other magical ingredients. I'm Grandma Hazel. Try my secret family spice blend, passed down from generations. Steaks, fish, burgers, chicken pork, all things grilled. Grandma Hazel never rubbed you wrong. <laughs> the best in the Midwest, grilling magic, Grandma Hazel, and our own seasonal. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. 
Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Pavelski. You come a long ways, Joe. A two-time Olympian, a World Cup captain, and an NHL All-Star. How'd you get so good, Joe? Hard work and nutrition from Wisconsin Potatoes. Wisconsin Potatoes. Grandpa, please pass the potatoes. I got this. What? Healthy and delicious Wisconsin Potatoes. Inflammation and muscle pain can prevent us from activities such as walking, golfing, exercising, and more. Rapid Performance Products provides all natural relief utilizing the superfruit tart cherries. Rapid Red contains natural antioxidants that help combat the inflammation and pain of our muscles associated with activity. To help the aging maintain their muscle mass, try our Rapid Whey with 12 grams of whey protein isolate. Keep fit and stay active with Rapid Performance Products. It has been reported that Mad Dog and Merrill's signature sauces and spices have been seen around the world. And now we want to know where in the world is Mad Dog and Merrill? Take a selfie holding a Mad Dog and Merrill's product in front of a sign or interesting landmark, post the photo to Mad Dog and Merrill's Facebook page, and once a month, one lucky fan will win a grilling set of Mad Dog and Merrill's products. Go to Facebook.com slash Mad Dog and Merrill. Happy grilling! Quick on that one, Freddie. Campground ladies. Hey, welcome back to Bad Dog and Barrel's Midwest Grilling. We are at Wilderness Campground. What a beautiful campground it is. It really is. Oh, look at the lake over here. You know what I like about campgrounds nowadays? If you have a camper, if you have a tent, that's a wonderful thing. But you don't really need to because everybody has, and they have some great cabins. They got some nice little lodging that way if you don't want to stay in cottages and things sure. like that. You can stay in cabins, you can stay, that's that's your style, isn't it, Freddie? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> right. Give me the cottage any day. No doubt about it. Lakeside, if you would, please. <laughs> Freddie, do you want any Thai peppers in yours today? And you know what I would tell you about that. Oh, you can skip that one. That'd, that that'd be a little hot. Ooh. All right, I'm experimenting. Everything's an experiment on the grill, and that's what grillology is all about. So we're gonna do a little more cedar planking right now. And once again, uh, in my little bucket over here, my cedar planks are cooking away. Any untreated cedar, hickory, oak does work. If you have your own, you know it's untreated. If you buy it at, the, at, a, at a, a depot, I always buy the dog ear cedar plank fencing, and it's about two bucks for a six, six foot piece of board, and I cut my own cedar planks like I did today. But here's what we have in front of us, and this is what you need for this particular recipe. We're gonna do a little south of the border, if you will, please. I have a little green peppers, I got some onions, I've got cilantro sliced up. We went to the cannery at Oneida, and we can pick this up at the Oneida Market on Packerland Avenue in Green Bay, or exploreoneida.com. I got some green salsa. Oh, so that's we're good do a little... I've already had that already. Yeah, it's really good <laughs> stuff. It is, it is. I, I think this is the medium here, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have my glasses on to look. I ain't gonna do it just for you. <laughs> and on the, on, the, on the green egg over here, I've got warming up and cooking pretty much all the way through some wonderful chicken thighs and drumsticks, slobbered a little bit with our barbecue sauce just for flavor. So those are warming up away. And here's gonna be the end result right here, by the way. It's the center one right here. I used the red salsa on top of there. Ooh. So that's the end result, a little bit right there. In fact, right now over the top of everything, I'm gonna add a little bit of our spicy barbecue sauce before I do forget. I wanna spice things up a little bit with that chicken over the top of that. So now we have that going. We've got the potatoes and the sauerkraut and the wieners going over there. And here's what we're gonna do. Very simple to do, very easy to do. We're gonna plop that board wet out of the, out of the water. That's the last thing you do. Remember your grill is preheated. It's fired up. Your products or your, your uh, ingredients are all in front of you. And I'm simply gonna ladle some onions over the top of there. I'm gonna take some bell peppers, put some rings of bell pepper over the top of those. I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro Oh, nice. We're going to have some nice flavor with the cilantro over there. I'm going to head on over to my little green egg. Now, we used a little mini green egg, but you folks over there, you got the mediums, the large, the extra larges, the double X's you can choose from. And we're gonna just going to put some nice hot pieces of chicken over the top of our cedar planking, as many as we can get on top of there without embarrassing ourselves on TV. Oh, we've never embarrassed ourselves on TV. 
Oh, and now right Fred. before, right before I'm I present it to the grill, I'm gonna <laughs> oh. take a little bit of that green salsa, and I'm just gonna ladle that over the top. And we're gonna take that, and we're gonna present that to a hot grill, fired up underneath. We wanna char the bottom of the board, and I'll show these at the end of this segment here, but you can see the boards are all charred underneath properly. Everything is blending together nicely and warming up, and I'm just gonna heat that chicken and finish cooking it through for about a half hour on okay. the cedar planks. The same as I did with our potato wedges, and you can't look over here because that's the cat's meow. The next time. oh, I know, Not I can't right. wait. I can't <laughs> it's wait. It's going to be that. delicious. It really is. <laughs> so that's how I'm going to do cedar plank chicken south of the border. There's nothing you can't cedar plank. You got it. You got it. I love it. Hey, some little good old Wisconsin red potatoes here. Done these on the grill. I did actually cook these the direct method of grilling. Didn't do the indirect. The direct method of grilling. I took the red potatoes. I half them. Some of them I went ahead and quartered. Yep. But I used a little bit of our sunflower oil. Turned it on the sides, didn't you? You got it. You got it. Put a little sunflower oil in there. Cook those for about ah 20 minutes or so. I've used a little bit of butter. Maybe oh I don't know. Maybe two tablespoons of butter. These are piping hot. You know I I love this recipe and it's so simple. First of all, I'm using garlic powder. Garlic powder, not fresh garlic. Garlic powder. And I'm using lots of it. <laughs> Can you smell that garlic, friend? Wow. That's garlic. That's not... the real deal, I'll okay. tell you that. And you want to use raw onions. <laughs> yes, raw we love. onions. Mix that around. Obviously, a little bit of grab my hazels in there. Mm. We've got the seasoning, like a Montreal steak seasoning. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stir this around. Serve that up. And believe it or not, it's already ready to serve. Beautiful. It's good. The onions are on there. I realize that they're not fried. But once you have it this way, I'll tell you what. And the garlic powder, that really the flavor adheres to there, it's phenomenal. Looks delicious. Smells it does. wonderful, doesn't it, Freddie? Yes, I'm ready. Well, are you ready to go poolside? <laughs> poolside? Are you ready to go down to the beach? Did you see all the toys and stuff in the middle of that? It, you know, it, it's phenomenal down oh. there. The middle of that little fish, that little swimming pond down there with all the great things for the kids and a beautiful beach down there. I can lay there and get a tan all day long, let me tell you. <laughs> you got to go to wildernesscampground.com, wildernesscampground.com. We are Mad Dog and Mare. All the taters. Mm -hmm. I haven't had them, but it looks like we've been down there all day already with I that have them. We'll be right back with more Mad Dog and Midwest Grilling. We're going to do a little more cedar plant cooking after are you tired of the same old thing? Moo. Taste the wild side with exotic edibles from All Things Jerky. Check out our large selection of exotic jerky and frozen meats. Gator, kangaroo, boar, bison, elk, and more. Try before you buy with our bulk beef jerky. We carry hot sauces and supplies to make your own jerky and sausage. The perfect gift for every occasion is our mug of meat and gift boxes. Visit our stores in Eagle River, Manaqua, and Appleton and shop online at allthingsjerky.com. More than just jerky, All Things Jerky. As a mother, I choose healthy snacks for my children. What they eat now can have a lasting effect on their overall health. Cherry Delight dried cherries provide a healthy snack and taste delicious. Unlike sugary treats, these tasty fruit snacks are all natural and provide essential nutrients and vitamins important in growing bodies. From chocolate covered Cherry Delights to tart cherry juice, these snacks are full of nutrition. Visit us in Forceville, just 30 minutes from Green Bay or order online at countryovens.com. Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill, nothing better than a pile of wings and Mad Dog and Merrill's grilling sauces. You got that right, Mad Dog. I'm ready to dig into these babies. <laughs> Number one, thick and rich. I'm going for the spicy. And it's the smokehouse for me, yeah. Oh, this time I'm going for the spicy. Oh man, I got the hickory. <laughs> uh... Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. Ah, Wisconsin winter sports and a crisp old-fashioned sun drop soda. Ah, yeah, perfect for snowmobiling, skiing, sledding, hockey. Or you know what, Mad Dog, just relaxing on the old ice. You know, Merrill, there may be a legal limit on walleye, perch, or, or bottle bass. But there's no limit on good old-fashioned sun drop soda. Wisconsin winter sports. Be safe, drink responsible, drink locally bottled sun drop soda. All right, guys, off the ice. Puck drops in five minutes. Wisconsin farmers support an 80 plus billion dollar industry that employs more than 400,000 people. Farmers continue to sustain Mother Nature's resources for future generations and create quality relationships with area businesses. 
Mark Toyota thanks the farmer. Jamar thanks the farmer. And St. Associates thanks the farmer. Central Door Solutions thanks the farmer. Mid State Truck Service thanks the farmer. And we thank you for buying Wisconsin potatoes. And Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, you know, we were at the Wilderness Campground in Montello, near Montello, Wisconsin, <laughs> Wilderness Campground. Go to wildernesscampground.com. But we talk all the time about passing traditions on, whether it's traditions like learning how to cedar plank cooking, traditions like learning how to goof up like Merrill, and all his kids are goofballs just like himself. Yeah, but I am the big goofball. He is the big goofball. <laughs> but we need to pass traditions on. It's just like camping. you got to take the kids camping. It's phenomenal. I camped all the time we were growing up, and it was wonderful. We took our daughter camping for years. And what the best times in the world, wildernesscampground.com. One more time with a cedar plank, and I had a great little idea. Rather than soaking in the water like I did my cedar planks, uh, we took our good friends at Country Oven, Country Ovens, countryovens.com, Cherry Delight, all their great products, and I had some cherry juice. So I, I actually soaked in cedar, I actually soaked in cherry juice my cedar plant. I know, that's just amazing, <laughs> man. What a great idea. So they've been in there for a long time, and I can only imagine if in that cedar plank and I didn't add maybe a little bit of bourbon or something. Oh, oh, I think he should have. And then we, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Where's yeah. that at? So, oh, so that's <laughs> a really good idea, though. That would be a very good... Uh... So on our grill here, and i got to be careful, this is hot. On our grill back here, <laughs> we have some nice little rib sections. Now, I actually seared some ribs off, seared them off, cooked them in the oven for about two hours and got them nice and tender, cut them into little sections, and I'm searing them again just to get the flavor of the grill browned up. So we actually have the sauerkraut right there. I'm gonna take a little bit of Country Ovens Cherry Delight barbecue sauce. They got a great barbecue sauce, Cherry Delight, and a little bit of their preserves. So once again, I'm gonna sweeten up the barbecue sauce. Okay. So some cherry preserves from Country Ovens, Cherry Delight products. Mix that all together. Everything's in order, everything's in order. The grill is preheated. The, the wood's still soaking. So the last thing you do is take the wood out of the water out of this cherry soda in this, in this particular case, take it out of the cherry soda, and I'm gonna add a, half the sauerkraut mixture on the bottom, and then I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna add, take our ribs, Ooh. Mm. and I'm gonna take our ribs and pile those babies up as high as I can get, as fast as I can do it, and then we're gonna top it with the rest of the sauerkraut. Oh yeah! And we're gonna slow cook those babies. I don't have quite enough crawl. You guys use a little more sauerkraut if you want to and really heat that baby up. So my wood is, my wood is moist, it's soaked on the bottom. We're gonna place that on a good hot heat and that's the far one over here and that's been on for about a half hour or more. Those are warm through, the crowd is cooked through, it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Very good, very good. And I'm gonna take those off as you get a cooking. All right, what the Oneida market, first of all I got some tea, they got great selections of tea. I'm using actually a ginger based tea today. It's a good they've one. Got there. Now they've got their black Angus, I'll tell you what, if you want a steak, they've got bison, but their black Angus, I just love, it's just phenomenal. And their grass fed's good too. Oh yes it is. So all what I'm going to do, believe it or not, I'm using this to infuse this with some tea. This is the ginger tea. And I've got a little bit of sunflower oil into this tea, so it's got a little oil base. I used the rest of the tea and the rest of my mustard, believe it or not. Okay. I got mustard. Do you believe mustard. it, Freddie? He believes it. Uh, that I got it right here. Look at that. I don't know. He's got to believe it. He's got to believe it. And then to infuse that a little bit more, a little bit of ground ginger. You should marinate this for a good three to four hours. And I like using the fresh ground ginger, not the fresh ginger, ground ginger. Did you show me your eggplant? No, go ahead and show me. Yeah, serious. I was hoping you'd leave it on the grill because I was on it. There's one. That uh, eggplant's difficult to do. Yes, now it you is. bread it up and cooked it on both sides. It right. turns out wonderful and Thank tender you. and moist. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry again. Can I'm I have gonna some? cry. It's just amazing. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds good. Anyway, mix mm -hmm. that all up. Mm -hmm. Place it on the grill. You know, four to five minutes on each side. Mm -hmm. I use a lot of times. I use mustard a lot. I will go ahead and even brush mustard onto the steaks. Use some fresh thyme on there. That's one of my favorites, believe it or not. And a little bit of Grandma Hazel's. It's just it comes out very good. Something every time we're running there. short of, by the way. What's that? <laughs> time! Time! <laughs> Are we running short? No, we're doing pretty okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. 
Okay, so we learned a few things along the way. We're gonna be back in just a moment or two to wrap this baby up. But on the inside, by the way, they've got a nice little uh, a lodge with a game room and a store, and you can buy brew pub pizzas in there, frozen brew pub pizzas, and have them cook them for you. So when you come to Wilderness Campground, ask for a brew pub pizza at the same time, and see the best ice cream, by the way. Good stuff. Oh, ice cream. We'll be right back to wrap All this right. baby up in just a moment or two from Wilderness Campground in Montello, Wisconsin, Mad Dog and Mary's Midwest Grilling with Fast Freddy. And the keyboards. Laurius Malone's Gourmet Head Cheese and Country Pâtés are Southern deliciousness. Tender pork, blended spices, and bold flavors. Superbly handcrafted fresh, without fillers, jellies, or preservatives. Glorious Malone's quality flavors have been loved throughout the Midwest for over 60 years. Enjoy it sliced on crackers, or think outside the cracker. Try it on pizza, burgers, stuffed pork, and more. Ask your grocer for Malone's. Mmm, Southern deliciousness. We dig Wisconsin potatoes. Healthy grown, eco-friendly Wisconsin potatoes. Potatoes that are appealing. One medium potato harvests 110 calories. They're high in potassium and sodium free, which is good for your heart. They're also free of fat, gluten, and cholesterol. And full of vitamins and minerals. From farm to fork, Wisconsin potatoes provide the most nutrients per penny. Which makes Wisconsin potato growers outstanding in the field. Mad Dog and Merrill here. Try our to work. I love sun-ripe tomatoes on my burger. Sun-ripe tomato? It's all in there. Man, I love sauerkraut on my sausages. <laughs> sauerkraut? It's in there. <laughs> uh, I love spicy mustard on everything. Spicy mustard? It's in there. It's so sad. I love onions. Onions? It's in there. To works. No more mess. All in one condiment. And now to works with sweet pickle relish. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. I came in initially for um, lower neck pain and back pain, headaches. Whiplash. Migraine headaches. I have never used chiropractic here before. I was very nervous. I decided to choose a uh, back in action. Something amazing happened. Dr. Hansen has actually made some other improvements that I was not seeing him for. It wasn't actually back issues, but it was a nutritional issue. Dr. Hansen, he goes above and beyond. They're very thorough. I would highly recommend using back in action with Dr. Hansen. And relief is, is sooner than you think. Lashbro Aerial Images, a division of Lashbro Visual Communications, is a premier drone imaging company. Stunning high definition video, compelling high resolution photography. Lashbro Aerial Images is remote pilot certified and fully insured. Images for advertising, broadcast, print, online, mapping, real estate, and more. Take your vision to the next level with Lashbro Aerial Images. Mad Dog and Merrill from Wilderness Campground, and we got a good crew behind us. Oh, 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 oh. See you later. Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.